Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Kids at home, welcome to another new exciting program. Abu Najma with the kids 2024 here at Marif School. Mari, is it Marif or Marif School? Marif. Marif School in Pangani Shopping Center. You guys, you live in a shopping center. So you shop all day. Like only the rich people live around here. So it's just you, you guys love to shop. That's why you prefer to live in the Pangani Shopping Center. Yeah. And by the way, what do you shop? Yeah. <laughs> because there are so many things. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. MashaAllah. So today I wish to share with you a story of Saul. Saul is a uh, is, uh, talut. No, he was one of the leaders of Ban Israel. And inshallah, it's a very new, exciting program. I, it's a new, exciting, it, it, it's a very ex exciting story. And uh, in, show me, put up your hand if one day you want to become a military general. You want to be in the military, mashallah. So all of you will benefit, mashallah. You're a girl and you want to be a military officer. You want to work with the army. Yes, you can work with the, with the U.S. Army, with Somalia Army, with Kenyan Army, with Djibouti Army. Put up your hand, girls. Yes, girls, they become armies nowadays. They can fight. You know, during the Sahabas, the girls used to, women used to participate in, in wars, isn't it? Let's pay attention. Hey, let's pay attention. Girls, they used to participate in war during the Prophet's time. Yes, they used to. So how many girls want to be military officers? You want to be in the army? Subhanallah. None of them wants to be in the army. They all want to make cakes. Yes. Yes. Uh, bakers, be in a saloon, or become mustada, which is okay, isn't it? But, uh, but, but the world has changed. But the world has? Changed. Mention a military army officer who is a woman and mentioned in the Quran. No. She's called Balqis. Balqis, she's found in, please pay attention, today you're not paying attention. She's found in the Quran in the story of Suleiman. Inni wajatum ra'atan tamlikuhum. Balqis was a, an army officer. She was chief in charge of army in a country, and she was a woman, and she was very powerful. And how do you know that Bilqis was powerful? Because the, what did the parliament, the people of Bilqis said, نَحْنُ أُلُوْقُوَةٍ وَأُلُوْ بَأْسٍ شَدِيدٍ وَالْأَمْرُ إِلَيْكِ You know, we are very strong, we are a mighty army, وَالْأَمْرُ إِلَيْكِ But you, since you Bilqis, you are in charge of the army. Fanduri Mada Ta'murin. You are the one to decide whether we'll go to war with Suleiman or not. So Balqis was a very powerful army, uh, army general. And she was a woman. And her story is mentioned in the Quran. She was in chief command. She was in chief command. command yes. And in today's world, uh, women can be pilots in the army. Yes. They can be generals in the army. They can be part. They can be captains in the army. Yes, soldiers. Yes, yes. The world has changed. The world has. So, if you boys, like in our days, we 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 were, when you uh, girls were very very soft, but today you mess up with girls, you will see fire. <laughs> hey, today's girls are different. You punch them, you punch them. Once they punch you twice, pa pa. You punch them twice, they punch you four times, pa pa pa. Never mess with today's sisters and girls. Hey, just be very careful. I mean, I saw even some of them. They play very good football. Yes, I saw one of the ladies. She was playing football, and then she she was a very good striker. And I said, what if I was her age, 12 years? She, she, she was very good in football, eh? So things have changed. What, it, it, it is unfortunate. 
It is fortunate or unfortunate. But today, what girls can do, boys can do. What boys can do, girls can. It's, it's a changing world. It's a changing world. But whether you girls decide to become army officers or not, but today our story is about, uh, uh, is about military. So Allah says in this story, probably you heard this story. It is in Surah Al-Baqarah. What's the meaning of Baqarah? Cow. Why was it called Baqarah? Because it has lots of baraka. No. Because it has a lots of baraka, isn't it? Cows, they give us milk, isn't it? They also give us skin, isn't it? They also give us meat, isn't it? They also plow our, our, our shambas. Now, big gardens, they plow the oxen. You've seen the oxen? Yes, concentrate. So today, Allah say, tells us in the Quran, Alam tara ila al min bani Israel, min ba'di Musa. These people came after Nabi Musa. And these people, they had been oppressed. Their land has, had been taken, like the people of? Thank you. Like the people of Palestine. Palestine, Philistine. You know, yes, Palestine. Their land has been taken. They have been, uh, yes, also, yes, 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 yes. You're right. Their land had been taken. They have been removed out of their homes. They were refugees in other people's country. The country that they were living in was not their country. They had lost their country. And they had been oppressed. Alam tara ila al-mala min bani Israel. Min ba'di Musa. These people came after Musa. Alayhi salatu wa salam. Id qalu li nabi lahum. They told their prophets. Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam. Prophet said, The politicians of bani Israel were prophets. Kana tasusuhum al-anbiya. You know the politicians in parliament of bani Israel. They were all prophets of Allah. Which means that the people who led the children of Israel, Ban Israel, all their prophets, they were very good in politics. They knew how to run the world. They knew how to run dunya affairs. They knew about the hereafter affairs. They were very, very learned, highly learned in dunya affairs. Eh? They told their prophet, they told their prophet, we need a leader, Malik, a king, who is going to be a great leader, and through that leadership, his leadership will fight for our land. Always remember, even in Kenya, even in? Kenya. When the British came to Kenya, pay attention to this. When the British came to Kenya, they took over this country, the British, the whites, the UK, United Kingdom, the Wazungus. They came to Kenya, they came to Africa, and all of Africa. They stole the land. They stole the gold in Africa. They made people slaves. They took all the shambas. Everything, they killed a lot of people. So what happened? There had to be a movement, a resistant movement. What was that movement? The Mau Mau movement. And these people, they had to fight for this land. Yes, they had to fight back. So these Ban Israel people, they had to create a movement. And this movement had to have a leader. You cannot fight when you don't have a leader. True or false? You, can, you must have a leader. And this leader has to be brave. He has, he has to be brave. brave. Not somebody who fears these dogs. You know, these dogs which bark. <laughs> He's a leader and he can't even pass in front of a dog. We call them umbuaya maka. These dogs here, the small <laughs> You, you, if you, you refuse to go to Fajr because there are these dogs outside here. You say, why are you not going for Fajr? You know, in our Esther, there, there are dogs. Those dogs, they bite people. That's why you are, you are making a salah inside your home. <laughs> if you hear the barks of a dog, you can't even go to the toilet. And it is a self-contained. You think that dog will come and bite you? You see? So this leader, he had to be a king and he had to be a brave king. That prophet of them, that Nabi, that messenger told them, you, you want to fight these people, you want to fight your enemy. Are you ready for fight? Because fighting is not easy. You think if you fight with people, you are going to win and you will be killed. You will be massacred. 
And you cannot fight unless you train. And these people are not trained. They are not ready to fight. You know, there are two types of people. There are some people who tell you, I will beat you. I will beat you. But when fight starts, they cry, Oh, somebody intervene. I'm, I'm dying. It's beating me. Oh, help. Help. <laughs> Is there some person who is saying, I'm ready to fight. When? When the punches now come continuously. Pa, 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 they cry for help. 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 I'm dying. Yeah, help. Help. And right now you are saying, I can fight. I can. Yeah. Fighting is bad, isn't it? Yes, fighting is bad. Never, never fight. It's not good, eh? It's not good. So these people, their messenger asked them, Kala hal asaitu min kutub alaykum al qitalu alla tuqatilu. Their messenger told them, Allah will, 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 will decree for you to fight. Are you ready to fight? Will you fight? Are you going to fight? Will you fight? Before you think about fighting, especially as I'm in, a, in, a, in, a, in a country where there is military. Those military have to be trained, isn't it? They have to be soldiers. If, you, if most of you said you will you'll join the army. You know when you join the army, you have to train for about a year, approximately a year. You know even they, they have to swim on mud. And then you have to run like 30 to 40 kilometers. And then you have to be highly disciplined. Sometimes you don't eat what you want. Uh, you, you can stay like 10 to 12 hours without eating anything. They train you. Uh, you know, military uh, training is not easy. For you to become an army officer, it's not easy. You can watch the movies, but in reality, as you join military, the training is not easy. So these people, they are, their prophet understood that uh, fighting, you know, uh, uh, is not easy. And it's not going to be an easy affair. Kala hal asaitum in kutiba alaykum al-qitalu alla tuqatilu. They said, kalu wa ma lana alla nuqatila fi sabilillah. They said, you know, we have no reason not to fight in the way of Allah. Why? Wa kadukhrijna min diyarina. We have been expelled from our lands. Our houses have been taken, like the people of Gaza. The house have, has been taken. The house has been taken, the people of Gaza. Every day they are being bombed. Eh? You can imagine the pain that they feel. And our children have been chased from their homes. Now we are homeless. We are refugees. We are in other people's country. And you know the worst can happen to you when you lose your country, when you lose your home. When the prophet was leaving Makkah, he was crying. He was very, very, very uh, sorrowful. Now he was feeling, uh, you know, remorseful. He was feeling so bad. لَوْ أَنَّ أَهْلَكِ خَرَجْتْ خَرَجْتْ Ma, ma, kharaj. Prophet said, if the people of Makkah had not removed me, I would not have gone out of Makkah. We are coming back. Second part of Abu Najma with the kid. Abu Najma with kids. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Kids at home. Welcome to Abu Najma with, this, with the kids, the second part of our program. Now, these people, they are, their messenger told them, you cannot fight. You're not ready to fight. Why? Because you have not been trained. You're not trained military officers. Fighting is not easy. You know, even in the days of Khalid bin Walid, you remember Khalid bin Walid? They did not use weapons. They didn't have uh, fighter jets. They didn't have machine guns. They fought with their swords. They fought with their And you know those people, they were stronger than today. Do you know that? Because during those days when you fight with a sword, you had to be brave. You had to be brave. And that is why whenever you read Sirah, respect people like Khalid bin Walid. I want you to go and do uh, uh, Google the story of Khalid bin Walid. And the more you learn about Khalid bin Walid, you'll be brave. The more you watch cartoon, you become like cartoon. True or false? Like those people of TikTok, they're always jokers. They're always 
They are always jokers and, and pranks. Prank people and jokers. Cartoons. But when you study the seer of the Sahabas, you learn bravery. People like Khalid bin Walid, like Muthanna, like Umar, these are very strong people. You know when Umar was migrating from Mecca to Medina, he did not hide himself. You know some of the Sahabas, they hide themselves and then they ran away to, Mac to Medina. They had to hide and leave. But Umar he did not hide. Umar, he migrated during the day. And then he called all the Quraysh, he was very brave. He called all the Quraysh, he told them, ha 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 Then he told them, I am migrating to Medina. And if you are a true man, try to follow me. That is what Umar told the Quraysh. If you have guts, you try to follow me. And nobody followed Umar. So the more you read Sirah, biography of the Sahabas, you also become brave. You watch, you watch a lot of prank, you become a cartoon. You become a? Huh? You become a cartoon. You have big body, but you cannot defend yourself. So these people, these people, what happened to them? They said, we have to fight for our land. We have to fight for our freedom. We have to fight for the rights that is being taken from us. When Allah prescribed for them to fight, Allah has said, okay, now you can fight for your land. Now you can fight for what belongs to you. They were not ready. They were not ready. It was a bunch of coward people. It was a bunch of coward people. وَقَالَ لَهُمْ نَبِيُّهُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ قَدْ بَاثَ لَكُمْ طَالُوتَ مَلِكًا so they wanted a leader who will lead them to war. A leader who will lead them to get their freedom, their homes, what has been, had been taken from them. This is now their leader. So Allah chose, Inna Allah qad batha lakum taluta malika. Allah has chosen for you talut. This is going to be a king. Who was talut? Talut was a simple guy. He was a simple Imagine he was just, was just a simple guy, not very famous, he didn't have a lot of money, not a lot of people know about him, but he had guts, he was very strong. You know strong people, they don't talk much, they are always silent. You just joke with them and they are just looking at you like, okay, you don't know I train judo, <laughs> it's my secret, you don't know I train judo, <laughs> you just play with me. And then you hear them, ah, ah, and they just look, hey, stop that, stop, stop that, please. You don't know they train karate, they have black belt. They just look at you, and then you hit them. And then you think in your head, ah, this one is a coward. And then you get angry, you punch them, ah, they hold your hand. Now you will see fire, you see what? And then they do what karate, ah, bah, <laughs> <laughs> and then you start to cry there. So this Talut was a simple guy, very strong. He was not famous, but he had the guts. You see, us, when we were young, we saw, you know, people used to go for boxing training. They used to go for karate classes. They used to go for taekwondo, yes, when we were strong, when we were young at your age. You know what the coaches, they used to tell us? Our coaches, they used to tell us, I'm training you Taekwondo, I'm training you Karate, I'm training you Boxing, I'm coaching you on Boxing, not to fight others, not to beat others. How many of you, if you have black belt in Karate, you will control yourself? This was a honest. Okay, how many of you, you are, you are black belt, and Chokora, they try to steal something from you, and you'll control yourself? You tell Chokora, Easy, easy. <laughs> no, a, a good, a good person, the chokora comes to steal something from you. Just tell him, hey, 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 stop that, stop it. But you don't fight immediately, isn't it? When somebody tries to oppress you, don't fight back very quickly. Just be, control your anger, control your. This is what these coaches used to tell us. Why? Because. If you are good in boxing, you are good in karate, you are good in taekwondo, one day you punch somebody and they die. 
you will end up in prison. Do you know that? That is why fighting is bad. One day I pray to Allah that you live long enough. Go to prisons. I, was, I went to an Ivasha prison. There is a young boy. He, he entered jail when he was a juvenile. Now before 18 years, and now he's 47 years old, he was jailed life, life. He was given life sentence, yes. Do you know why? Because he says he fought with uh, an old man, an old man. You know, he, he made him angry. So he fought back. Bah! And these old people, some of them are sick. They have pressure, they have blood sugar, they have diabetes, they have kidney failure. So he punched that old man, and that old man fell down, and then there was... There was... And the guy died. And he didn't know he was sick. That is why fighting is bad. There are some kids, you punch them, and they have heart complications. They die. And then you say, oh, who did that in the Quran? It was Musa, alayhi salatu wa salam. For wakaza hu Musa, faqadwa alayhi. You know, Musa was very strong. He found two people fighting. And then Musa separated them. In, no, instead of Musa separating them, Ya Musa, the, the guy of Musa, hadha min shi'ati wa hadha min aduwihi, isn't it? He goes, oh Musa, Musa, come and help. And then Musa went, what did Musa do? Instead of Musa separating these people, he punched the enemy. Bah! And that guy fell down and he died. And that is why after Musa killed that person, Musa said, hadha min amali shaitan. That is your <gasps> Ah, I had nice tea. You know, my tea had more milk than water. Put up your hand if your tea has more milk than water. Put up your hand if your, your tea has more water than milk. Okay, put up your, your hand if you had strong tea today. Tea with Angero. Tea with bread. You did not have breakfast. Put up your hand. You're fasting. Today is Thursday. You should be fasting. Allah. Takbir. Allah. You see two girls. Masha Allah. Masha Allah. Say Masha Allah. Say Masha Allah. Yes, they are fasting. Hey, these boys they never fast. Subhanallah. This is why I told you. Hey, they are fasting. Hey, leave them. Hey, now let's go back to the story. So now, Allah chose Talut was a simple guy. You know when you have knowledge, when you are strong, you don't have to show it off, isn't it? When you have nothing is when you, when you love to show off. There's one day a guy came with a phone, and then there was a, a very nice car, you know, V8. And this guy had a phone, he said, uh -huh. Hi friends, I'm here, we, this is my father's car. The V8. And he found the V8 parking outside there. Ah, oh, this is my father's car. <laughs> it's your father's car, but you're not inside. You're outside. <laughs> if, it be, if it was your father's car, you'd be inside, isn't it? So people would love to brag. They brag about things that they don't have, isn't it? Yeah, yeah if, you, if that's your car, why are you showing people? They eat biryani, and then they take their phones on Facebook. On, uh, on TikTok, yeah, hi guys, I'm eating biryani, it's biryani chicken, I, I'm also drinking passion juice, it's passion juice, and then people are all looking, <laughs> angry birds, angry birds are looking, I wish I, I, wish I was having that, but, but brave people, they don't love to show it, the people who have the real money, you never know they have money. Now it's us poor people we love to show off. Eh? We love to show. The real billionaires, they don't show off. And Allah does not love people who brag. If here there's somebody who loves to brag, don't mention their name. Just look at them, I will know them. People who love to brag. <laughs> Just look at them, I will know them. Ah! There, there's a boy who used to tell us. You know when we're in primary school, there's a boy who used to tell us. You all of you in this class, you don't know who is my father. And then we used to ask him, uh-huh, tell us about your father. You know our, 
my father, he works in the government. We have, we have a nice car. Uh, my mom goes to saloon every Sunday. We eat chapo and chicken every, every Saturday. We can afford pizza. We go out. You people, you don't go out except on Eid day. And it's true, that, 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 that student, you know, when, when the bell rings to go home, used to be taken by a car. And then as we are young, we're like, oh, I wish my, my dad had a car. And then he enters his car and he's like, bye boy, our car, bye boy. And then he tells him because he's your classmate, now tomorrow you're going to carry us with your car, in your car. Said no, my dad says you don't, we don't, uh, you, you, nobody, you, we don't carry people in our car. Mm -hmm. you, you, if these people are here, look at them, if they are here. There is no one. Hey, I see, I see. <laughs> people love to brag, they have money, they eat pizza every day, they eat chicken and chips every day, they go to village market, they go to TRM, they go to trips. Eh? Ah, astaghfirullah, I see four people. Now I see others looking at each other. Now who is who? <laughs> now who is who? No, don't measure, don't point. Just look at it. But how come you guys are looking at each other? It means the two of them brag, eh? They brag, eh? Yeah, it's not good to brag, isn't it? Now what happens, eh? Talut was a simple guy. He was a simple so time is not on our side, but uh, there, there is a lot of things we learn from this story, even though the story has not come, we've not reached the end of the story. Number one, if one day you're going to become a military officer, you're going to work in the army, you have to, you have to do exercise every day if you are going to become an army general. You have, to be, you have to participate in football, you have to be doing jogging every day, uh, you have to do physical exercise. Eh? You know there are some people who run from, from Pangani to Kiambu yes. and back, yes. yes? Yes, they go every morning. You see people doing exercise? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, mashallah, that's great. And also you have to ride a lot of bicycle. If you have a, you have a bicycle, a bicycle also is a very good exercise. And also drink a lot of water as you exercise, isn't it? Number two, be simple. B, if you have money, if you are rich, you don't have to show it off. And if you are rich, you, want, you help others. You help? Others. There is a school I know, mashallah, may Allah bless those people in that school. If they find a poor student in that school, what, they, what do they do? They go, they tell their parents, mom, dad, we have a poor kid in our school, they cannot afford school fees, let's, let's donate to these students. And they, they donate to these poor students. During Ramadan, they buy for them iftar. You know, they help the sick people. Mashallah, it's a very nice school and they have these special programs. It's a, it's, it's a school, Muslim school, that has rich kids and they give a lot of donations. So if you have, Allah has blessed you with wealth, help others, but don't brag, don't. There's another boy saying, I have a, the latest PlayStation in our house. I have the latest games. We reach the end of our program, Abu Najma with the kids. Say bye-bye here. Bye. Masalama. Abu Najma with the kids. Abu Najma with the kids. Here at Ma'arif Pangani. Here at Ma'arif Pangani. Shopping center where we do the shopping. Shopping center where we do the shopping. The shopping of maths, English. The shopping of maths, English. Science and Swahili. Science and Swahili. Masalama. Masalama. Abu Najma with kids. We learn Quran, we learn Quran, we learn Quran, we learn Quran, we learn Hadith, we learn Hadith, we learn Hadith, we learn Hadith, we learn the doers, we learn the doers, we learn the doers, we learn the doers, we love a prophet. We love a prophet, we love a prophet, we love a prophet.